So this outfit really inspired me to create the look that I'm about to show you. Okay, so even though I loved her outfit in the picture, my version of it is a little bit different. I paired it with distressed skinny jeans only because it's really cold outside right now and that would be absolutely insane to wear shorts right now. Um, but I think it looks just as good. Um, I'm actually wearing floral spiral um, lace tights underneath. And I really love these. I got them off Amazon. Um, the major reason I love them is because they're footless. So when you wear them underneath your skinny jeans, you can still wear heels with them. And I think it's got like that 90s grunge appeal that everyone's going for right now. Um, and another thing I want to mention is this leather jacket. This is from Express. Um, it's not the exact one in the picture, but I really, really love this one. It's my favorite leather jacket, and I just love wearing it with basically everything. Like, it just looks awesome with dresses, jeans, like pretty much everything. Um, and I got this plaid scarf from Charlotte Russe. And they're actually on sale right now for $4, so you guys are in luck. Um, it's a little bit longer than I would like it to be, but I think it looks really cute anyway. And I got this necklace from JCPenney's, and I wasn't able to find it online. But if you guys go to the store, you might be able to. And I'll take a picture of it, that way you guys can see it close up too. It's gorgeous. Okay, so here's a close-up pic of everything. So this outfit really inspired me to create the look that I'm about to show you. Okay, so this is what my version looks like. And I know it's not the same, but I still think it looks really cute. And I really wanted to show you guys what these tights look like with a little black dress and heels. So here's a detailed picture of what the tights look like up close. And the next outfit that I'm going to show you was inspired by this burgundy skater skirt. Okay, so those two outfits really inspired me to create this look. I know it's not exactly the same, but I wanted to show you guys anyway because I really love these thigh highs. I got them off Amazon and I was really skeptical at first to try out thigh high socks, but I kept seeing pictures of them on Pinterest and I was just in love with them, so I just had to try it. And I actually really, really love it. Um, I was afraid because my thighs are kind of big and most of the time, whenever I try to wear thigh-high um, fishnets or anything, they get really, really tight right here, and like they make my legs look weird. But these don't do that. They're really elastic-y and really nice at the top. So um, the only complaint I have is I probably should have ordered the small because these are really, really long. Um, and I have to tuck them underneath my toes. But other than that, I really like it. Um, and I paired this with my favorite cover-up. It's from Express. They actually still have medium and large in this, but they have other colors and other sizes in this color. So 
Um, I really love it. It has like a drape front. I know you can't see it, um, but that's what it looks like. And then I just paired it with my favorite scarf. Okay, so here's an up close shot of my black thigh high socks with the plaid tights. And here's another shot so you guys can see what they look like all the way down. Okay, so here's my next outfit. Um, the major thing that I love about this outfit are the thigh high socks. Um, they're actually sweater thigh highs, so it actually feels like you're wearing sweaters on your legs, which is awesome to me. Um, and I really love the way they fit. They don't fall down when you walk, and they're not too tight at the top either. Um, and this is the same cover-up that I showed you guys earlier, paired with my favorite sweater dress. Um, I featured this sweater dress on my first video. And I thought it sold out, but then I found out the other day that you can still get one just like this on Amazon, except for it's black instead of tan, and then where the black is, it's tan. But it's made by the same manufacturer, and in my opinion, the black one actually looks better, so it's all good. Okay, here are the um, sweater tights. In detail I just wanted you guys to be able to see them up close okay so here's the pick that influenced me to go buy some camo pants okay so I've been looking for the perfect pair of camo pants forever and I think I finally found them I got these off Amazon and I actually got the last pair of double extra small. They run huge, so be extremely careful whenever you order them. Um, I actually ordered an extra small at first and then I had to return those to get the double extra small, but these actually fit perfect. Um, but if you're smaller than I am, you can just use the drawstring to tighten it. Um, it works really good. Um, and they also have drawstrings at the bottom too. Um, that way you can wear them with heels um, if you wanted to. That's not really that practical though. I don't really know if I plan on wearing this um, with heels. It's just, I don't know, she won in the picture. So I wanted you guys to be able to see what it would look like in real life. Um, but I actually plan on wearing these to like go shooting or play paintball or something like that. Um, I just really love them and they have like huge pockets on the sides too that you could fit like a ton of stuff in. Um, oh, another thing that I want to tell you guys is I actually read all the reviews on these and some people were saying that they washed them and they faded, but I just washed mine and they didn't fade at all. So I just wanted to let you guys know. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to tell you guys that I found another website where you can get these camo pants. Even though they're out of the double extra small on Amazon, you can still get that size if you wanted it. Um, and I wanted to show you guys this beanie too. Um, I got this off of Amazon and I don't really like it. I bought it because of this picture. And it's just too slouchy in the back. Like, they didn't have a picture of the side of it on there, so, I mean, I didn't know exactly what it was going to look like, so I just wanted to warn you guys. Okay, so I'm sure you guys are wondering why I just showed you a random beanie that I didn't even like. Um, it's because I featured that beanie in my online shopping tutorial, and I really wanted you guys to know what it looks like in real life because... It's just, they don't show the side of it online, and just in case you guys were thinking about buying it, I just wanted you to know. And I want my videos to be more of a clothing review rather than just a haul. Like, I want you guys to be able to trust me as a resource for honest reviews on today's latest trends. Um, and I'm sure you're wondering why I'm wearing this huge, hot pink wrinkly blazer. Um, it's because I also featured it on my shopping tutorial 
and I ended up getting it from Charlotte Bruce. Um, and I got a medium, and it's way too big, but I'm actually going to return it and get a small. Um, I just wanted you guys to go to see what the medium looks like, and I was actually thinking about getting it tailored, but I changed my mind. Hopefully the small won't need to be tailored. Hopefully it'll fit, because I really want to complete the look that I saw in this picture on Pinterest. So hopefully, once I get a black romper and everything, I'll be able to do that. Okay, so I also wanted to show you guys this red cape that I got off Amazon. It was only like $30, so it was really, really cheap. And it's extremely good quality. It's made by Jessica Simpson. Um, the only thing is, I feel like I look too much like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> so, I think I'm actually going to return it. <laughs> I mean, it just looks kind of silly, which is good for like Halloween or something, but not really for everyday wear. And I was really looking for a coat to wear every day. So, um, plus this one, it doesn't have sleeves, so get really cold like even if I wore a sweater I feel like it would still not be warm enough on really cold days um but I mean it's still really cute like I don't know I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or not so I found these leg warmers on Pinterest and they're actually by Free People and the last time I checked they're still in stock but they're $32 so I found another option show you guys some cute loungewear that you could just wear around the house. I actually got this plaid shirt dress from Charlotte Roos. Um, I featured it on my Black Friday preview and I just checked the website and unfortunately um, they don't have it on there anymore. Um, they might still have it in the store though, I'm not sure. Um, but I really just wanted to show you guys these cute cable knit leg warmers that I got. They have little pom-poms on the sides. <laughs> I just think they're adorable to wear around the house. Okay, here's a close-up look at the leg warmers. Uh, this pin really inspired me to get some navy blue thigh-high socks. Okay, so I think I came up with a really good idea the other day. Um, I was actually going to go out and try to find an oversized gray sweater, like the one in the picture, um, because I found the perfect um, navy blue thigh highs to wear with it. But I didn't really have time, so instead I just started going through the closet, and I found one of my boyfriend's hoodies and paired it with these, and I just think it looks awesome together because it's got like the navy blue up here and it matches and I just think it's perfect to just lounge around in. And there's my kitty. <laughs> and I just wanted you guys to be able to see the sweater detail. Okay, so here's a close-up pic of the top of the thigh highs. And here's a picture of a cable knitted boot cuff. Okay, so this is my last outfit. I found some cable knit boot cuffs on Amazon and I really love them. Um, they actually make my legs look longer when I wear them with these boots, which is awesome. Um, so I'll show you a detailed picture in a second. But I really wanted to show you guys something that I came up with the other day. Um, chunky scarves are really um, popular on Pinterest right now. Like the camel colored one in this picture. But they're still kind of hard to find. So I decided to take two of my favorite scarves um, and I tied them together on the ends. Actually, I'll show you more detail. Um, you just like open it up and you take one of the corners and you tie it to the opposite corner. Okay, um, that might be kind of confusing, I'm sorry. 
But I did that to both of them, and then I just added them like that, and then I put it around my neck like this. And it makes one huge chunky scarf. Um, another thing that I want to mention are these cargo skinny pants. I absolutely love these. You guys have probably heard me talk about them already, but I was on the Express's website yesterday and I realized that they still have every size available in both colors. Um, and I just wanted to let you guys know because these are amazing. Like they make my thighs look so skinny and I love it. <laughs> and you can actually put stuff in these pockets too, which is pretty cool. Okay, so here's the close-up pic of the boot cuffs. Okay, so this is the end. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and share it throughout all of your social medias. I really, really need your support because this actually takes a lot of time and it's really expensive. Um, it's a lot harder than it looks. Um, I'm actually going to start emailing different companies and asking them if I can borrow things to feature on my videos only because I really can't afford to keep buying new clothes every two weeks. So <laughs> hopefully that'll work out. Um, you guys can also follow me on Pinterest and if you comment on your favorite photos, I'll try to feature some of that stuff on my next video. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. So, um, by the way, thank you for subscribing if you have already. Um, it means so much to me. So, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later.